I'm Robert Ross with Rob Report, and I'm here with, uh, who's now an old friend, I'd like to think, uh, Torsten muller uh CEO of Rolls-Royce Motor Cars. Torsten, uh, thank you for the invitation to join uh, for probably the most uh, It's aus- great to be back here with you, Rob. Oh, uh, the most pleasure. auspicious launch in, uh, since, uh, right. well, I would like to say probably 2004. I was a younger man then, and uh, I remember the launch of the Rolls-Royce Phantom 7. It was maybe the biggest event in Rolls-Royce history, at least certainly during my lifetime. And uh, now you have the uh, honor and the distinction of being able to uh, launch its successor the Rolls-Royce Phantom 8. Congratulations. Thank you very much on that. Yeah, and indeed it is an honor, I must say, because Phantom is the longest used model name in history of car business, far over 90 years, and it is very rare that you launch a new Phantom. For that reason, it's an honor. And as you rightly stated, in 2003, when the Phantom 7 was launched, that was really kind of a worldwide event, and the same will happen again here. There's a famous saying, when a Rolls Royce passes by or a Rolls Royce is launched, the world stands still, and that will happen again here with Phantom this year. Well, I certainly remember we stood still uh, at uh, the launch of the uh, predecessor. It was uh, it was a, a very welcome moment for a brand that at the time was already quite uh, quite old and storied and uh, wonderful tradition, but it literally brought new life to Rolls Royce. And of course, since that time, you've uh, done some uh, some very important uh, had some very important developments by way of the Ghost and uh, the Wraith and uh, and so forth. But uh, I guess it's now time to uh, turn another page, and obviously this Phantom ushers in a lot of new things for, uh, for the car uh, company itself. Um, can you tell us some things about this car that might be your favorites? I mean, how, how, how does someone approach the Phantom 8 uh, differently from the Phantom 7? That was the challenge we gave ourselves, exactly, uh, because Phantom, uh, as you rightly stated, is the pinnacle and also brought Rolls Royce back to where it belongs to, to the pinnacle of luxury, of automotive luxury. And indeed, with Phantom 8, we even want to top that, of course, what we have done with Phantom 7, because it should be, of course, up at the end of the day that uh, many people are saying that is probably the best car on the world. And for that reason, we have done a lot when it comes to design, when it comes to technology, when it comes to magic carpet ride, when it comes to the way what people experience sitting in the car. There are so many technically fascinating issues and items in that car it would take hours uh, to line them all up here, but let me just uh, uh, outline two of them. One is definitely what we have done with the gallery inside of the car that uh, brings this car up to even new levels of bespoke. Where I customers, think of art galleries yeah, when you like, say something yeah, exactly. like that. Exactly, it is like art galleries, and that is a dashboard completely behind glass where you can commission your own pieces of art in. And uh, that is, of course, something which we have done, our customers uh, in front of us, knowing that they are collectors on the one side, but that they also want to make sure that their specific Phantom is truly unique. And then, of course, number two, and that is Magic Carpet Ride. And uh, with Phantom 8, you really experience flight on Earth, as we say it. And we have put so many technical details into that when it comes, for instance, to the whole air damping system, when it comes to the way what we have done to the tires, it is a complete new era of Magic Carpet Ride for Rolls Royce Motor Cars. So that uh, Magic Carpet Ride is uh, sort of an elaboration on the age-old Rolls Royce concept of uh, wafting or waftability, is that right? right? That's right, uh, and I mean wafting also requires a proper drivetrain, and wafting also requires a torquey engine which really delivers that, and on the one side extremely silent, but the typical yeah, torque curve, which looks like a table mountain, and that is also here covered with a complete brand new 12-cylinder engine, uh, which delivers torque in a really wafting dimension. That's a V12 mountain, so that's about as uh, tall a mountain as one can uh, scale in the car world, right. and yeah. uh, certainly something that's right. always been been a part of the uh, the Rolls-Royce tradition, at least uh, at least in this new generation. Uh, speaking of new generation, I know the last time we got together, uh, we were sitting in uh, the experimental car, the uh, 103EX, which of course was a look at the future many, a few decades into uh, uh, ahead of us. Uh, how uh, uh, can you talk about how this uh, new Phantom actually sort of takes us into that future? Is this a, a precursor of things to come? Uh, are, there, are there some things that we would be uh, looking toward uh, 
sooner than later. Yeah, Rob, very good question. And uh, I must say that uh, the 103X was even influenced by Phantom 8 because at that point in time, we were already quite advanced when it came to Phantom 8, be it design features, be it uh, technical ideas, be it bespoke. And you see quite something in the 103EX, which you can also now see in Phantom 8. That is, for instance, the design line in the front, the way how we integrated the grille much smoother and better into the overall design of the car, but also bespoke uh, up to new levels with that gallery I just mentioned a minute ago. And uh, that feeling at home, feeling so comfortable when you sit in that car, which this is, this is unmatched. And that is exactly also the story when it came to 103EX. I'm certainly eager to drive this car and experience it, not just uh, from the driver's seat, but uh, from the back seat too, which is uh, a place that uh, Rolls Royces uh, are particularly known to uh, uh, excel. Um, you touched on something that, that I think really uh, is, uh, is synonymous with uh, your brand, and that's the concept of bespoke. There's really uh, nothing else like it in the world of automobiles. Uh, you can do things with uh, Rolls Royce as a customer that uh, you simply can't do with any other automobile brand. Um, I assume that Bespoke is a major part of your, uh, your customer relationship. Definitely. Without Bespoke, Rolls-Royce wouldn't exist, I might even say. Uh, we say Bespoke is Rolls-Royce, and uh, for that reason, rest assured that also the next Phantom generation will carry all features customers want to see, and your imagination is our limit. That's what we say, and that is a promise. For that reason, we are already looking forward to accepting stunning orders commissioned by our customers. Well, certainly uh, your imagination and that of your team has uh, excelled with this, uh, with this new car and uh, wish you uh, all the best of luck with it going forward. And we look forward to seeing uh, what it brings uh, in the future. Brilliant. Thanks a lot, Rob. Thank you, Torsten. Pleasure.